what I'm going to do today is we're going to I'm going to show you guys how to rebuild these carburetors. I'm only going to take a video of doing one because all four are the same. What you need to do is you need to order yourself some carb kits. I got my stuff from online. Make sure to get it for the right year. Like these are from 91 to 01 or 91 to 2001. Um, while doing this, it's nice to have a container so you can put out your seals so you don't lose anything. There are some small stuff in there, like your clip there for your needle. So that way you can make sure you don't lose any small parts. So I'm going to go through and show how to take one apart and how to do one since all four are the same. So take a, you take a look at one of my other videos I show on how to remove the carburetors from the uh, Evinrude. It's a 130 horse I'm doing. So I'll show you guys how to disassemble one and how to do it all. Your first step is to take your socket. I use the 3 8 and you take all four of them bolts out like that. Well, you loosen them. You take your socket, you loosen them, and you get your carburetor off. Okay, then you just got your throttle plate there. So this is your main carburetor body here. So your next thing, what you gotta do, is you gotta go through and disassemble it. You're gonna take them screws out, flip it over, take your other screws out. Next thing I would say too, make sure you're working on some cardboard and have some paper handy. So that way if you have fuel on them, you don't make too big of a mess. So let me take them screws out and we can see what the inside looks like. All right, now that I got the screws out of this, what you have on the side here, just got a simple gasket. As you can see the gasket's pretty worn. Goes there. Then you got your, your plate. Just goes on top of it. Oops, if I set it in there right. So you pull that off and get in there, clean that, and put your new gasket on there. Okay. And with this, you got the bowl here with the gasket. And what you can do now is you can take this screw out here. When you take that screw out, it'll let you pull your float out in your main seat. And my kit here came with a new needle and seat. So I'm going to see if I can get the old needle and seat out and put it back in and we'll go from there almost almost forgot about this spot you can pull the plug out right here okay my kit came with a new o-ring for that so pull your plug out and also you can see down in there see the jet pull that jet out and check it make sure it's clean and clear because you don't want that to be blocked because that goes from your main bowl up to your main up here to go into the, the carb so if that jet's blocked you will not get fuel on that one so make sure it's clean and free of instructions now what you do is you can you take your big screwdriver and you can unscrew your seat okay since the kit came with a new one i'm going to put it in there but see there's your needle with the clip and your main seat and then you got a little gasket there, which is this guy. And then there's your clip for your new needle. So that way I can put it in there. And you also have a, with your body too. The other thing to remember is you have a new, my kit came with a new gasket for right here. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna flip this body over and I'm gonna see if I can get the jet out right there check it make sure it's clean um, next thing I'm probably gonna do is pretty much since this thing's pretty much disassembled now is go through clean it use some carburetor clean I like uh, using this stuff it works pretty good um, so I'll use that I'll go through I'll clean everything look over your float make sure your floats not all varnished or anything like that and then you can start reassembling it I'll go over what to do when I start reassembling it now I've gone through, I checked my main needle, made sure it was clean. That little needle is the one that was back up in there. Just take a flat blade screwdriver and you can unscrew it. Uh, make sure to put your new o-ring on your little thing there. And before you discard your gaskets, these are old gaskets, make sure they match up to your new gaskets. So that way you can put the right gaskets in. So 
because my kit came with a bunch of extra ones like these are some of the ones for the back side of the carburetor um, this gasket here is the one that goes on the seat right down there make sure that you get the old one off like mine's still stuck on there so I gotta make sure to get that old gasket off before I put the seat back in for the needle and I'll put that in and I'll take a show you a little video I'll put this back together so you can see and then make sure to adjust your float level all right I did some reading on this because I'm not used to these plastic float bodies this lip here is actually supposed to be there I thought there was a gasket stuck to it and with the plastic float bodies these plastic bodies you do not need to use this on your needle or on your seat before you put it in and pretty much what you do is you put it in then you adjust it with it upside down where it's about even the float level you know be about even so check that before you get done if not you might have some issues running and you have to pull the car back off and readjust it all right so i went through i put the gasket back on that put the screws back in that guy so now that's ready for the bowl to be put back on i'll show you guys what i was talking about level when you hold it so right now it's pretty much level with the base of the uh thing so as you can see it sits down now it's this way it's lower flip it becomes level so that's what you want to do make sure everything's moving good like it should your floats in good shape all that's in good shape so then you just got to take your gasket put your gasket on there get it pushed down and then you can flip your bowl back over drop it down and put your screws back in then that's pretty much all done okay before you bolt this back on to your throttle plate wipe this down make sure that's all clean and make sure to get the appropriate seal because like my kit came with two seals and this seal here only has one so then you take that one and put it on there the right way and get it in there and all the grooves and bolt your hard body back on and you do that three more times and your carburetor set will be done now the other thing you can do is you can pull this plate off here if your kit has a gasket my kit came with it so you can pull it off clean it make sure everything's clean in there and you're good that's something else I just thought about and seen so you can pull that off and check it and then put that plate back on with a new gasket and life should be good